drop. So how do we make all of those flow one to another? The trick to transitions and finding flow is choosing where within each movement you are going to transition to the next movement because every movement has lots of different areas and muscle contractions you go through. It's finding which area, which muscle contraction smoothly leads you to the next one. Yeah, so let's look at your right side here. You're gonna do those four bumps totally based in the knee. And then when I get ready to do the Maya, I'm gonna bend the knee, I'm gonna engage in my right oblique and push up over and down. From here, I'm gonna bring the hip right back underneath me so I'm not trying to start my Ami out here. I bring it up, my Ami on this side is going to go counterclockwise. So it's gonna go back, right, tuck in. Back, right, tuck in. So here's our Ami. It is a regular old Ami, but we are standing on one foot so it feels a little funky, yeah? So it's going to start from the back. I've brought my hip in, I'm releasing back, lifting, tucking here on the right side, pulling in and release. So that's my Ami. I am going to begin my roll up from the tuck in my Ami because then I'm already part way there. So I've done this Ami, I've come to the tuck. From here, I'm going to drop the chest, lift the chest, and then I'm all set up for the drop, right? Maya, or hit times four, Maya, Ami, roll up, drop. Yeah, up, 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 up. Retract, up and over, around to the back first. When you make it to the front, reverse undulation, drop the hip. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So same idea, when you're on your left side, you're gonna get those four hip hits that are largely knee-driven. Retract back down to do your Maya, up, out, and over. Once you make it out, bring it back in to do your Ami that is going to go clockwise, starting to the back. So you come in, you release back, you squeeze up left, squeeze to the front, and then from here, you're going to do that reverse undulation and drop. So you've finished your Ami in this position, drop the chest, lift the chest, drop the chest for that accent, right? Again, it's going to be one, two, three, four, Maya, up over down, Ami to the back, roll up, and drop. Yes? So, take it nice and slow. Let's try the different sides a few times just to feel the flow of how it works one into the other. Let's do that left side again. Here we go, to the left. One, two, three, four, retract, Maya, Ami to the back, roll up, and drop. Let's do the right side, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, retract, Maya, Ami, roll up, drop, one, two, three, four, Maya, Ami, roll up, other side, one, two, three, four, Maya, Ami, roll up, drop. Is that making sense? So think about the connector pieces between the different parts. Really use the muscles to create the section and make it look nice and clean. You really have to muscle through those movements, right? So I'm using my knee mostly to create those four ups. I'm engaging in my oblique. I'm pushing out, over, and down. I'm releasing to the back, always gently, and I'm squeezing in the oblique, squeezing in the hip flexor, and then creating that reverse undulation, doing the muscles in my abdomen, right? Tuck, tuck, lift. And that drop, if you'd like a nice sharp drop, instead of disengaging and releasing the lift, you can actually think about engaging in the upper abdominals and creating a harder drop or a lock by imagining kind of knitting the rib cage together.